we can mark our drawings to help visually show where a key drawing or a breakdown will be in our X sheet and timeline. And we do that by simply selecting a cell and going out to our X sheet view, you'll see a red K, a blue B, and a green I. If we click the red K, it puts a little marker next to it for K, meaning this is a key drawing. And if we move forward, this one could be a breakdown. We'll click on the blue B to mark that as, as a breakdown. And the other two, we'll make them also key drawings. And again, I'd like to re reiterate that this is just a way of staying organized. It's just helping us at a glance tell which is a key drawing, which is a breakdown, and which is an in-between, which, by the way, if we need to get rid of the K or the B, or if we made a mistake, we just, whoops, we just select it, select it, and then click on the green I, and it will turn it back into an in-between. There is no markings for in-betweens. So we might want to rename our drawings. Um, so it's often we are sliding our animation around in time until we get our timing just right. Maybe that looks better. So if we look now, we have drawing number 24 that's sitting on frame 26. And if we want to properly organize it, we want to keep our drawing numbers and our frame numbers synced. So we do that by renaming it. We can just click on the cell in either the timeline or in the X sheet. Hit Control Shift D to pull up the rename dialog box and we can rename it. In this case, I'll call it 26. And let's just say I made a selection here and I have to goose the whole thing into, oops, I have to move the whole thing in time. Now it's really wildly off. These numbers are nowhere near what the frame numbers are. So we can change them all at the same time by making a selection, right clicking our selection, going down to drawings and clicking on rename by frame and it will rename each, every drawing within our selection to whatever frame it is on. Incidentally, we can tell Harmony to do this for us automatically every time we create a new drawing by going into our Preferences, which is Edit, and Preferences in Windows. On a Mac, we would click Toon Boom Harmony, go down to Preferences. We go to Exposure Sheet, and in Drawing Creation, we can check off Use Current Frame as Drawing Name, like mine already is checked off. Hit OK. And now any new drawing that we create, so if I click here in Frame 45 and hit new drawing, you will see it automatically makes it drawing number 45. I will undo that for now. So we often want to just extend a single exposure for a certain amount of time. So if I want this exposure, our last one that's sitting at frame 40, to extend to frame 60, I can do that by right clicking and go to extend exposure. And right now it knows that we're sitting at frame 40 and we can choose to overwrite whatever's in between 40 and 60 where we can insert it, which means it will push everything down. And I'm going to extend it to frame 60. I'm going to type in 60 and hit OK. And Harmony extended it. Another way of doing it, a keyboard shortcut, is just selecting frame 60 and hitting F5 on our keyboard will automatically extend it. So another thing we can do to, we have all these holes here, we can extend all of our exposures here to fill in all these gaps where she's disappearing. If I did not, by the way, check that box off in our preferences, as we just, as we just mentioned. We can select a range here. And there is a button over here. It says fill in empty cells. If I was to click that, it fills in all of the cells for us. One final note we can do with our rough animation at this point is if we have it sitting on top of a temporary background of some sort. So let's say in this case, let's change the color of our color card. You get purple. We can do something called generate an auto mat that will fill in our rough animation so that we can see it sitting on top of our, our rough background. So first thing we want to do is create a new swatch, which is always recommended. I can name it Auto Matte, and I'll make it white, a little off-white. So now that I have my color selected and select my first cell, I go up to Drawing, 
go down to generate automat. Here's our generate automat settings. So if we are first checkboxes apply to all drawings and if I was to click that it would apply to every drawing that's in our layer. I'll click that. The radius will describe how tight or how loose it will draw the mat around our drawing. I'll leave it at the, at the default of 2200 for now. The source art is telling the automat where is our art, what is it going to look at to generate from. By default is at line art, which it is directly referring to our art layers. And then the destination, where is it going to stick this mat? It's going to stick it in the underlay, but of course we can change it if we want. We'll keep it in underlay. The final two options are we can clear whatever whatever may happen to be there already, say an old auto mat that maybe we're updating. And we can also copy the strokes and put them in the destination. I'm going to hit OK. Ta-da! And now Harmony put a little mat around our character. And if we were to step through, the mat is around our character to just to help pop her against a background.